ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. ZipRecruiter.com. What is happening, mediocre people of YouTube? I don't know what I did with my car tripod, so we're back to doing videos like this. So as the title says, and before I get to the title, you know, we're coming up on a thousand subscribers on this channel, and I've got, I, you know, as soon as we do, I'm going to award the mediocre, my mediocre 1,000 subscriber giveaway. If you guys have not got in on that contest yet, go back to the video that explains it, and you can find out how to enter. And that'll be coming up pretty soon. So when that comes up, I will, uh, I will award the mediocre prize to the person who wins. <laughs> However, as the title suggests, what I want to talk about is why I'm considering leaving YouTube and why you should too. If I've learned anything over the last four years, and as you guys know, any of you guys that watch the channel consistently, you got you would know that I have not watched mainstream media for over a decade. Yeah, it's 2020 now, so I think it had to be around 2006, I think, when I became aware of how irresponsible and damaging the mainstream media is. And if I've learned anything over these past four years, I've learned that it's not us. It's them. Us regular people, it's not us. It's them. It's the fucking politicians and the fucking mainstream media. Mainly the fucking mainstream media who are in bed with all the fucking politicians. People, what does it always come down to? Always and forever. It's all about the money all the time. The mainstream media has a vested interest in all of us, we the people, fighting with each other, rioting, destroying ourselves. We are creating the fucking nightly show for them. And they are creating this segregation and separation between us. And I said this before and I'll say it again. In my opinion, at this time in the United States history, we are in a political civil war. That's what this country is going through right now. It is in a political civil war. And the people are arguing amongst each other instead of being a real human being and realizing that life is not one-sided. Life is not about being a Democrat. Life is not about being a Republican. Life is not about, I disagree with every single thing the other party has to say. That's not how it fucking works, man. You know it and I know it. Life doesn't fucking work that way. There's things I'm conservative about. There's things I'm liberal about. I think pretty much everybody is like that. I know I'm not alone on this shit, but I know that the majority of you like to fucking stare at TV screens at night. And believe me, I walk by it every day. The television's on and there's people watching TV and I and I just, and, I, and I've tried, especially lately, I've tried to sit down you know, and, and watch a little bit of it, and it literally makes me sick to my fucking stomach. The president spoke yesterday, and I was watching it on CNN, because somebody had CNN on. CNN took things out of context and put it on the screen, that it wasn't what the president said. I've known this for a long time, people. Listen, back in whatever it was, 2006, I started watching a lot of C-SPAN. I started taking a 
more of an interest in our government and how things work because I wanted, you know, I don't want the government in my life. I want them out of my life. So I started watching a lot of fucking C-SPAN. More fucking C-SPAN than any person should ever fucking watch. If you ever watch C-SPAN, it's very bland, but it's what's going on. It's what's actually happening in Congress, in the Senate, today. Okay? There's no commercials. There's none of that. So anyway, I start watching C-SPAN, and then at night, I catch MSNBC's news report or Fox's news report. CNN, whoever's news report. And that's when I start noticing that they're reporting this went on in Congress today when I know goddamn well that's not what went on in Congress today because I watched it live. So, you know, not long ago, within the last couple of weeks, I took a look at myself and what I'm doing being on YouTube which is owned by Google, which is, you know, a part of the mainstream media. Google and YouTube are a part of the mainstream media. They are a part of the problem. They are one-sided, and they are a part of the problem. And although, I mean, I don't have a glorious channel, I have this little tiny channel on YouTube, which at some point in the near future would be eligible for monetization, although I would never do monetization on my channel. I just, for the $2 a month that I could get, uh, I, it's not worth filing fucking taxes for me. So you'll never see monetization on my channel. But even so, I'm still, I, my little channel, believe it or not, is making Google some money, you know? and maybe three, four cents a year. But you know what? That three or four cents a year that I'm making for Google, I'm contributing to the problem. And I don't want to be a part of the problem. I want to be a part of the solution. So it got me thinking that, you know, if you're going to talk the talk, Maybe you should walk the walk, too. So I have been considering, you know, just either just leaving what I have on my channel and, and not uploading anymore, or better yet, just taking my channel down and deleting it. Because, like I said, it's owned by a mainstream media corporation. A mainstream media corporation that gets off on watching us regular people kill each other. They love it. Because why? Because it gets them ratings. And what does it always boil down to, people? Every time. Pretty much everything in life is all about the money. All the time. That's what America's about. That's where the USA is at, you know? It's all about the money all the time. You know, there's no question that, let's say you, you commit a crime and you're just Joe Jackoff like me, you're going to prison for it. Unless you happen to have some political connections, you happen to know a judge somewhere, or the judge or, or a senator or a congressman is, happens to be a part of the family. I mean, that's just the way it is you're going to get a lighter sentence. There is no fucking question about that. You know, I've often thought of the USA, and I love the United States of America, man. This is my country. I fucking high, hang the flag up high. Both of them. All the time. But, man, you know, people talk about corrupt countries around the world. You know... The United States is probably the most corrupted country around the world. And you guys, like me, who love the United States, and even you fucking idiots who want to see communism instead, you need to understand something and think about how young our country is in comparison to countries that have been around forever. We're a young little country, really just starting out. 
in the grand scheme of things, like I say, if you compare us to other countries that have been around for, you know, forever, the United States is just a, we're very young. We're a very young country. We have a lot to learn. But I think this country needs to get back to its constitution and honor it. And I think something needs to be done about the justice system. Because like I said, it's not about justice. It's about politics and money. And that's fucked up. But what it boils down to as far as this video is concerned is that the mainstream media is and has been so fucking irresponsible for so long. The mainstream media has a lot of power. A lot of power. Maybe even more power, probably more power than the President of the United States. Because they people watch this shit daily and they believe it. They believe what they see. If it, hey, it used to be if you read it in the newspaper, it must be true. Ha ha ha. Well, if you saw it on TV, it must be true. You know, when I was coming up, it was always don't believe everything you see on TV. Where the fuck did that go? Now, every people people actually believe this shit. They watch the nightly news, and I don't give a shit what fucking network it is, whether it's Fox, MSNBC, CNBC, CNN. I'm calling out all of them. Google. Everyone that is a part of the mainstream media needs to take a fucking deep breath and look at the damage you're doing to this country. And I don't know if I can be a part of it anymore. So you guys let me know what you think. There goes that smoke. We're coming up on a thousand subs. I'm driving. I gotta roll. See you in a bit.